Oppenheimer hit the cinemas on Friday. With fans of Christopher Nolan's three-hour biopic heaping praise on the filmmaker's efforts. However, some eagle-eyed cinema goers have pointed out some errors in the anticipated war film. Oppenheimer fans were finally able to see the life of physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer play out on the big screen on Friday after months of anticipation. But some historians have pointed out some factual errors and anachronisms made in the biopic. Which features Killian Murphy, Emily Blunt, Matt Damon and Robert Downey Jr. One scene shows Oppenheimer taking away the poisoned apple before Niels Bohr can take a bite, but in reality, Oppenheimer was on holidays when he poisoned the apple and Bohr was not involved in the incident in any way. Fans also pointed out that during Oppenheimer's lecture at the Dutch University of Leiden, he was supposedly speaking Dutch, but in reality, he was speaking German. An anachronism mentioned by some historians is that at the end of the feature, when Oppenheimer is awarded the Enrico Fermi Award in 1963, Ernest Lawrence is shown in attendance, patting Oppenheimer on the shoulder. This could not have been possible as Lawrence died in 1958, due to complications from his chronic ulcerative colitis. Another anachronism revealed following the release of the film is that during the speech scene, The crowd can be seen waving the American flags with 50 stars, something that was not adopted until 1960 more than a decade after the events in the film. A smaller detail that may have gone unnoticed by most is that in one scene Oppenheimer actor Killian Murphy's left ear piercings can be seen, despite his character not having pierced ears. Actor Benny Safdie, who portrays physicist Edward Teller, has been criticized by some for not replicating the real-life character's limp he had as a result of having lost most of a foot in a traffic accident. Dot. But despite these and other mistakes, both Nolan and Murphy have been lauded and are said to be poised for Best Director and Best Actor Academy Awards respectively. In order to embody the Manhattan Project physicist, the 47-year-old film star had to take some extreme measures for such a physical transformation. Speaking with the New York Times, Murphy said, I love acting with my body, and Oppenheimer had a very distinct physicality and silhouette. Which I wanted to get right. I had to lose quite a bit of weight, and we worked with the costume and tailoring. He was very slim, almost emaciated, existed on martinis and cigarettes. He had these really bright eyes and I wanted to give him this wide-eyed look, so we worked on his silhouette and expressions a lot before starting.